part one and part two of the Real Housewives of Potomac reunion. In the previews, we're going to see that Chris Samuels, the husband of Monique Samuels, is going to actually have to be held back, it looks, it appears to be, from trying to fight some women. Two women, which is Giselle and Robin, who did not have any male there. I don't think Juan was there. I know for a fact that um, um, Jamal Bryant is not there. So, we're going to see that. But, there were some previous threats. Uh, well, they probably didn't happen previous to the filming of the reunion. But, I know that we saw him threaten Giselle and Robin live on Monique's Instagram live. Well, now, Chris Samuels has apologized for said threats. I don't know if this is damage control, but I know things are not looking good for the part three reunion when it, as far as it goes, as Chris Samuel seeming like he is trying to get aggressive towards two women. I'm going to let you guys hear the threat, and then I'm going to let you guys hear the cleanup or the apology of said threat. And I want you to see and pay attention to how Monique is behaving while Chris is trying to apologize to the women because of the threat that he made. Watch here. You know, I, that's not I'm my thing. I'm, I'm all about football. You know, I watch football film and watch football. That's mm -hmm. my gig. And I let Monique do her job. She's very professional. And some of the other women are as well. But y'all don't know y'all don't know me to be on live all the time talking about stuff like this, getting involved. But at the end of the day, you're attacking my wife's character. And when you know it was a lie made up just to hurt her so somebody can elevate themselves. Right. And and then, and, and hold on, babe. And sorry. then attacking my children. Like that's the lowest of the low. You are despicable people to sit around and plot and do that to my family. Mm -hmm. That's wrong. Cause I've never done that. Other people have kids and I know true situations that I've seen and I've never once brought that to light to try to damage somebody's family or their relationship or embarrass their kids or their wives or husbands or anything on TV. If anything, I protect them because at the end of the day, that's what we need to be doing more protecting. Have fun, cut up on TV, but we need to protect. It ain't about no money, all right? And it ain't about no fame, all right? People trying to bury each other with damaging lies is wrong. Even when I know factual stuff, I've never tried to bury anybody on this show. And bringing up my baby is going to get somebody ass kicked. I'm just telling you straight up. That's fighting words. Like, for real. No, it's getting the ass kicked words. Because there ain't going to be no fight with me. I'm telling you. Now, don't, don't, you ain't got to do all. I'm just being honest. That's fire. I've always respected y'all families. That's some bullshit. And I don't like it. So, when... People like, I know people be like, oh, Monique is always the victim. Listen, I'm no victim. If I do something, I have no problem owning up to my crap and then apologizing. Y'all have seen that a million times on this show. Y'all don't see any apologies coming my way, though. Um, most of the time is spent with me defending myself. From the backlash on Twitter. What no. backlash on Twitter? No, like I apologize for all my actions. Chris, the only thing he said during that live was that if he were a woman, he would have beat them up. No, no, but no, but at the end of the day, the lies, the lies. And bringing up my baby is gonna get somebody ass kicked. I'm just telling you straight up. That's fighting words, like for real. No, it's getting the ass kicked words. That's bringing up my baby is gonna get somebody ass kicked. I'm just telling. Now you. I didn't hear him say nothing about if he was a damn girl. Mm mm. Now here we go with his full apology and my commentary will be after. Out of Listen frustration up. from my child being brought into a whole bunch of mess. But honestly, it was a poor um, choice of words. Poor choice of words. Um, I didn't control the situation. I let the situation control me. I'm embarrassed for my comments. I feel awful because anybody that knows me and has had, has had a personal relationship with me, they know that that's not my character. We know. No, my, no, no, listen, no, no. Let me. You, my husband me, no. is not a woman beater. No, no, no. Trust no, me, no, I wouldn't no, even be no. with him. Let, let but finish. what he said was based no, off no. of pure Can I emotion. Finish? Can I finish? You said you wasn't trying you to get just into all asked this. me to say something, so I'm gonna say it. Okay. I feel awful. I'm embarrassed about what I said, and hopefully anybody that I offended, they can forgive me. It's a tough situation what we're going through, you know, uh, uh, with my child and everything. But at the end of the day, that's not the typical me to lash out and do we something know, like that. We know, but yeah. everybody has moments of losing exactly. control because of the emotions. We're human. So to all y'all non-humans out there that had an issue with it, 
maybe there's a planet where there's perfect people and y'all can go join it. Because at the end of the day, when you start talking about our children, that's when you've crossed a line. And of course, you're going to say things that you probably yeah, that, shouldn't but say. That's not me. And that's he came me. back the next day without being prompted. He ain't need no publicist. No, early that next and he ain't need nobody to tell him that he should apologize. He came back and he did it on his own. Right, but no, early. He actually hijacked my Entertainment Tonight yeah. interview. And, and he basically felt bad about it and apologized. And then that night, I went live with Karen. And he apologized as well. Yeah, because but, I respect um, women and men. We know, baby. Listen, if right, anybody, if I no, can't, I'm just if saying. I can't talk, anybody man, who's man. watched the show, you doing too much explaining. Anybody that's watched the has watched the show, y'all know Chris is a stand up guy. So ain't nobody think about that. Kids are off limits. Thank you. He had every right to say what the heck he said. And if somebody got a problem with it, they can kiss my hole behind. No, nah, but I should have said it. Don't I talk about people, kids. Okay, so you saw. Chris's apology. Do you see Monique lie and try to cover up the apology saying he said if he was a girl, that was never said. Um, he flat out said that he would whoop their ass, they was gonna get their ass kicked, and ain't no fight, he's just gonna straight up kick their ass. So what I think about it is she wouldn't let him talk, she wouldn't let him explain himself because she didn't want him to apologize. And at this point, it, it all this looks bad. It looks bad. It just looks bad. It's gone beyond, and it's you guys are Monique and Chris are being painted out to well, no, they're painting themselves out to be very, very angry people who like to get physical. So, y'all saw it. She, she tried to clean it up and say he said if he was a girl, he never said that. Um, you seen him trying to explain himself, she did not want him to explain himself because she didn't feel like oh, here he is trying to explain himself. She's interrupting him constantly, not letting him speak. When he complains about her, not letting him speak and get a word in edgewise, she then goes on to say that he's explaining himself too much. He's doing too much explaining. So he's trying to clear his character up and say, this is not something that I would have said as a man. This is not nothing I should have said as a man. And as his wife, she is interrupting him and stopping him because she really does not want him to make that apology, in my opinion. Because as we can see throughout the season and throughout the reunion, that she is not taking responsibility for her actions, nor does she want to apologize for her actions. So when her son, I mean son, when her husband makes bad decisions, she doesn't want him to take responsibility for them either. That's my opinion. If you don't like it, Please leave it in the comments. Let me know how you feel below. Please thumbs up the video, like, share, and subscribe.